Question 8 says light waves are electromagnetic waves that travel at 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. The eye is most sensitive to light having a wavelength of 5.5 times 10 to the negative 7th meters. A. Find the frequency of this light wave and B. Find its period. Okay, so in the last problem I think I kind of showed you intuitively that the, the velocity is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. And I think actually now is a good time to explain uh, that, that this frequency symbol, this is like the Latin F, and so you kind of draw it that way to not confuse it with force. And this uh, Greek lambda is wavelength, so wavelength. And um, sometimes uh, the frequency will be written with the Greek letter nu, uh, which kind of looks like a V, so for uh, equations with velocity in it, it probably will not be used, it'll probably just be the F. So, but anyhow, the last video, I think I showed you that um, the velocity, I showed you an intuitively on a, on a sinusoidal wave that velocity is equal to the frequency times the wavelength, and so this thing is asking us to, it's, it's giving us the velocity and it's giving us the wavelength and it wants us to find the frequency and so we can say that the frequency is equal to the velocity divided by the wavelength. So the velocity is 300,000 kilometers and so we gotta add another thousand so 300 million meters per second so per second uh, and the the um, the wavelength is 0.0000055 and so I got that from 5.5 times 10 to the negative 7th and the unit on that is meters and so the frequency that we get from that is is 5.45455 times 10 to the negative 14th I'm sorry not negative it's times 10 to the 14th let me make this actually look a little bit prettier. That's a 5. 5.45455 times 10 to the 14th is the frequency. That, that's in hertz. And then it says in part B to find its period. Well, I, I explained in the last video that the period is equal to 1 over the frequency and that the and and that the frequency is equal to 1 over the over the period. And so we can just take 1 so I'll, I'll move some of this out of the way so we can just take we can take 1 and divide it by the frequency so 5.45455 times 10 to the positive 14th and that will give us the period which is 1.83 times 10 to the negative 15th that's all there is